Module 7. Selection and Boolean What is selection? You encounter selection all the time. If there is pizza available, then you can eat pizza. If the window is open, then you can close it. If you are 17 or over, then you can learn to drive. If it is the 1st of January, then it is the new year. If the door is unlocked, then you can open it. If you touch something hot, then you will get burned. So what do all these have in common? They all use if and then. If there is a pizza, then you can eat it. Selections use conditions. These will result in either true or false. They're Boolean. There are different conditions you can test. There is equals to, if 10 is the same as 10, then it's true. Otherwise, it's false. Not equals to, it's an exclamation mark with an equals or an equals with a line through it. Does 10 not equal 10? This is false. Greater than is 10 greater than 10? No, it's false. Less than is 10 less than 10? No, it's false. Greater than or equal to is 10 greater than or equal to 10? Yes, it's true. Less than or equal to is 10 less than or equal to 10? Yes, it's true. Selection blocks are in the logic menu under conditionals. There is an if then and if then else. The if then block will test if a condition is true or you can select false from the drop down box. If it's true, the blocks you put inside it will run. If it's not true, then these will not run and the program blocks beneath will continue. The if then else block will also test if a condition is true or false. If it's true, then the blocks beneath then will run. If it's false, then the blocks below else will run. Using if then selection means you have one condition and one action only if the condition is true. For example, if number equals 10, then output a heart image. Using if then else means you have one condition, but one action if it's true, and a different one if it's false. For example, if number equals 10, then output a heart image, else output a happy face. So, if then means there is one condition, and you only do something if it's true, and if then else lets you put action if it's true, and also if it's false. Conditions. These conditions often use comparisons. Open the logic menu to find the comparison blocks. The drop down menu has all of the different symbols described in slide 5. You can use numbers, strings, or variables in both sides of the comparisons. Let's look at these examples. This first if then block says if the number 0 is equal to the number 0. This is true. The second one uses a variable if the contents of the variable word are equal to hello. The third if the contents of first number is the same as the contents of second number. Finally, if the contents of first number is equal to the number zero. Else if. You might need more than one condition. You can add as many as you need using else if statements. If you add an if statement and click on the plus button, you'll get an else. If you click it again, you'll get an else if. For example, if the contents of number is less than 10, then do something. If it's not, then check if it's less than 20 and do something else. So you can make multiple comparisons.